my dudes, my guys, my freaking boys. Today we are going to figure out why the Element is throwing the 2647 check engine light. I'm pretty sure I know why. I've been fighting this on and off for a while now, but let's get right into it. So the 2647 code on a lot of Hondas is the VTEC solenoid. Now this code can get thrown for multiple different reasons. Um, I have a feeling I know why this one is, but some of the reasons are uh, low oil pressure, which check your oil level. So if your oil is too low, it's not gonna have enough oil pressure to make this work. I've already checked the oil, oil's fine in this one. Um, the plug on the top of the VTEC solenoid, they get corroded out from like water and stuff dropping in them and then they're real close to the header so it gets hot and brittle over time. I've already replaced that on this one. Um, and then mine is profusely leaking oil all around the lower side of the VTEC solenoid. So my theory is here is that the VTEC solenoid gasket is busted now. So this VTEC solenoid has been off here a lot, so kind of not surprising. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull the VTEC solenoid out, and then we'll check the gasket. All right, your VTEC solenoid is located on the back side of the motor. It's kind of a pain to get to, but it's right there. This guy right there. Um, it's down here kind of lower, but you can feel around it. There's a 10 mil there. There's three 10 millimeters that hold it in place. So it's kind of a pain. You can't really see the bolts. You kind of just got to feel for them, but it's not hard to get to. If you have basic tools, I mean, it's just a 10 millimeter and a ratchet and it'll be out of there. So go ahead and knock that thing out real quick. Sometimes I've found it easier to take this little guy off right here, uh, just so it's out of the way, but it's just a little 10 mil. You already got a 10 mil out, might as well. Makes your life a little bit easier. That way you can just scoot all that stuff over. This does pop out of here just like that, but then it's still in the way. So I always just undo it, it's easier. All right, here is my last bolt right there. And go ahead and there's our VTEC solenoid gasket right there, which it does look kind of messed up, so. All right, so as you can see, this thing is covered in oil, which I know it's been leaking for a while, but it is what it is. Um, see right there, the gasket's pinched and the gasket's pinched. I'm gonna, I can only assume that that's where it's coming from. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out, put the new one in, and clean everything up so that way I can tell if it's still leaking after I do this, and then see what it does. Also, another reason that this can malfunction is this screen can get full of junk. So you can see, I've put, I think this is off my spare motor, and I just cleaned it out with brake cleaner and put it back in. Sometimes you can get away with that, sometimes you can't. Um, the new one that we're putting in is all new everything. So this is our new gasket right here, is what it looks like. Um... The screen is pretty beat up, but that's just the way it came out of the pack. Not super happy about that, but it is what it is. Uh, if you have the option, like if you're not in a huge hurry doing this, you can get an OEM one, and they normally are a lot nicer. All right, I'm sure this is a super flattering angle, but it'll be all right. Yeah, this gasket is like super brittle. It is uh, basically chunking apart, and it is stuck down in there pretty good. I think this is a factory one yeah that like so look how hard this thing is like i don't know you guys can't really tell but it's like cracking in there like i don't know it's super hard and then you can kind of see this one how it's like flimsy uh, i'm gonna clean this off i'm gonna spray some brake cleaner on or something like that and then we'll go ahead and put all this stuff back in all right i didn't have brake cleaner so please excuse me i used uh starting fluid so <laughs> uh all right, so we got that pretty cleaned up. Looks a lot better. But what I'm noticing is down inside of there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. Down inside of there is super corroded. So I'm willing to bet that's probably my problem. So I'll put the new gasket in, pop it on, see if it works. And then uh, if it doesn't, I will just pop a uh, pop a new one of those, those guys on there. I probably have some laying around here, but that one's definitely super corroded. So let's try it. Let's try it out. All right. After fighting it for a minute, I kept pushing this part down. The screen kept popping out. So, but you can see, you can see how the gasket's up higher. That's what you want. The stock one was like the same height. So, but it's just because it's, it's, you know, it's getting old. It's got some miles on her. So uh, let's go ahead and pop that guy back in there. Also for visual reference, because like I said, you can't see it. Those are the three holes you're looking for right there. One, two, and three. So you kind of just got to feel around. And it's super deceiving because you'd think that it starts all the way up here, but it doesn't. It's really just this lower half. So you just got to feel for those three right there. And they're all the same size, so it's nothing to get confused about. 
Here's another little hack. Uh, putting the gasket or putting the solenoid back in is the hardest part. But what I did is I just set my phone down there with the forward facing camera on and you can kind of see what you're doing. That's a gasket right there. So that when you're down here fooling with it, you can kind of see what you're doing. Um, the easiest way to do it would be to jack it up and pull the tire off and then you can just reach right through there and it's super easy. Uh, I'm just lazy, so I didn't do that. I just got the VTEC solenoid um, bolted down. Just gotta plug everything back in. Two clips on top, one and two. Easy peasy. All right, now all that's back together. We can go ahead and throw this guy away. That thing is, thing's a freaking pancake, dude. Now, if you're a torque spec kind of person, I don't know what to tell you about them bolts being torqued down to. You definitely don't want to tighten them too much because it will strip the head and then, you know, have actual problems in. Um, you know, tight is tight. You just got to squeeze the gasket. It's not like, doesn't need to be anything super crazy. Uh, and it, at the end of the day, it's only a 10 mil bolt. So, you know, torque specs are tiny for 10 mils. So keep that in mind when you're tightening that thing down. Also, when you're taking it out, it shouldn't be super tight. Mine was, I wonder who put it in here last. All right, now the code reader that I use is super junky and it won't erase codes. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo either the positive or the negative terminal for, I don't know, a minute, two minutes, something like that, and then put it back on. It's perfect, you already had the 10 mil out. 10 mil, boom, let it sit there for a little bit. It'll, uh, the ECUs in these newer cars have like a battery in them or something like that. So even when the battery's unplugged, it, rem it remembers about codes and stuff. So I just leave it unplugged for a minute, take a breather, grab a drink, take a sip of a drink, and then go ahead and throw it back on there. All right, it's been like a minute or two. Not really, I think it's been like 45 seconds. <laughs> but I'm a very impatient person. Let's go ahead and tighten it up. Slap our cap back over top that's literally about to come off. And then make sure we have all of our tools. I already checked the oil, oil's good, oil level's fine. So let's put our tools back and then we'll go ahead and test drive this unit. All right, if we unplug the battery for long enough, it shouldn't throw the code like immediately. Let me go ahead and start it. It should turn off. Yep, there it goes, it turned off, good. Gotta go get gas. So I guess we'll run to the gas station and see if it turns back on. Hopefully you guys watch this whole video. Uh, I forgot to mention this. When you undo your battery, if you have a factory uh, stereo, you have to redo, uh, redo your, your code. Uh, mine is in my glove box. I leave it with the owner's manual. So um, I wrote it inside the owner's manual. A lot of times from the dealership, they would write them in the owner's manual for you. Um, if not, you can call Honda with your VIN number and they can tell you. And if not, there's websites online where you can type in your VIN number and they can tell you and stuff like that. Uh, worst possible case scenario is um, the online sites. Sometimes you have to pull your head unit out uh, I mean that kind of sucks, but you can pull the head unit out it has a code on it And then you can type that code in instead of your VIN number and it'll always tell you so Not to fear you can always get the radio code All right, so far so good Nothing's happened yet. We're like two minutes down the road So I feel like it would have popped on by now if it didn't have it But we'll get gas. We'll take the longer way home and I'll check in with y'all whenever we get to the house Another fun fact about these things is from the factory, uh, they were missing these little rubber bits that are like the stoppers. So like whenever you close it, if yours tings, it's missing the little rubber stoppers, but you can get them like in a junkyard off of like a Honda Odyssey or something like that. So also a lot of people don't know that for some reason, I don't know, you can screw the gas cap in there. It's a gas cap holder. Put some gas in the old girl. Now we'll see if she's actually fine. We'll do a little, a little rip on her. Get a little, y'all ready? No check engine light, that's a good thing. Turn my lights on so I can see what's going on. <laughs> see, seems, seems pretty healthy. It's definitely pulling pretty good, which means that the VTEC's working, so. I would say she's freaking dialed. All right, y'all, so that's that. She's dialed now. I'll tell you guys some reasons why that P2647 code occurs. Um, I have to drive it like 45 minutes each way uh, later. So if something pops up, I'll be sure to throw that in here right now. 
if it's still here, she worked out pretty good, dude. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hope this helps somebody. See y'all later. Peace.